What's up guys? Welcome to the video. Back again with another video. You know the vibes. Uh, so today I'm just going to be talking about the five things that I just like about my Super WRX. My 2017 Super WRX. Alright, so five things I hate about my WRX. One is the head. It's kind of basic. It doesn't have too many features. Um, I also don't like the map that's on here. Hence why I wanted 2019 SDI. It has like Apple Map, Apple CarPlay, so you can just play your maps on your phone and everything on here. Uh, this one, like finicky, sometimes it doesn't find addresses that I'm looking for. Uh, the music stuff, when I'm trying to play music, sometimes it's just like when I try to use my iPod mode, the USB, sometimes it just plays out of my phone. I don't know if it's my phone or the car, but sometimes that does that. And like, I'm just not a really big fan of interacting with it. Uh, I got inside of the Subaru. Um, as you can see, this is the head unit. It, it just looks really basic. It's like, it's basic. It has the radios, your Pandora if you have it. Um, this is, I usually use my USB because when I play music, I like all, everything to appear on it. It's not, it's not terrible, but it's like, it's a gripe for me just cause I'd rather have the Apple CarPlay and like, look at the map. This map looks ancient, it looks, it looks so bad. And like, I try to find certain addresses and it, I won't be able to find it. Or like, I'm just trying to go somewhere and like, Sometimes it takes me even the long, the longer route instead of like actually working better and showing me a simpler route. Two is something that simple and I could replace myself. Um, it's the speakers. The speakers are supposed to be like really good speakers. I've heard them in like other cars and like in those cars that sound good, but in this car, like the back ones, every time I play music, certain songs they start to rattle and it sounds like the speaker is about to explode. I'm not a fan of that. Uh, I still have it. I still play my music on it, and I do eventually plan on switching and maybe adding like a the OEM sub to the back, just so I can have a, a little extra bass. But yeah, there's that. I'm not a really big fan of it. All right, for the speakers, I'm just gonna play the radio because, especially on the radio, these are like terrible. Like you can't even. It doesn't even sound good. It, it's not loud enough, it doesn't get loud at all. So if you're trying to have a good time with the radio, good luck with that. When the friends I have PTSD, I'm always waking up a ghost first like I got the food, my daughter the teeth. She's done killing the food. Third thing that I actually don't really like about the car is the daytime running lights. Because now I see like the newer cross tracks and newer WRXs, most of them have the C lights as the daytime running lights. I hate that these have the ugly orange lights flashing for your daytime running lights. When you, even if it like, I guess you don't really need them, but like, it's just, it's not appealing, it's not good looking. And I know there's like light bulb swaps for it, and one day I might actually end up swapping it, or I'm just gonna do a whole headlight swap. The fourth thing that I actually really don't like about the Super WRX is the lights that they come with it, on the inside are the interior lights and they're those little amber, orange, whatever lights. I don't even know the technical name for them. They're like orange and they're not bright at all. Like If it's dark and you're trying to see in the car, you still can't see. I still have to turn on my flashlight to turn them on. And like when I show you guys the inside of my car now, you can see that I actually swapped them to um, some that I found on Subi Speed, the OLM lights, and they're way better, like way better upgrade. If like you want, if the first thing that you actually want to do to your car, if you like daily, it is, I would say like swap out those bulbs. For the interior lights, as you can see, I swapped the bulbs out. I got the door open right now, so you can see. But these lights are like way better compared to the ones that come in stock. Um, yeah, I appreciate these way more because like when I drive to work and I wake up in the morning because I go to work at like four in the morning sometimes and like I can see way better when I'm in a car. The fifth thing that I don't really enjoy about my car that I kind of dislike is the rev hang. Sometimes when you're driving, 
like sometimes when I'm driving the same seamless and I could drive fine, but like sometimes it's like it's like finicky. Some gears is like they get, it will go up and it'll just chill there for a little bit. And then when you try to shift gears, the car jerks a little bit. I'm not a fan of that. It's not it's not fun when you're driving, especially like when I'm on the highway and I'm trying to get it. It's just kind of like it bogs and it's not it's not a good time. Like if it seems like I'm not driving well, but like. Sometimes I'm shifting fine, but like the car just kind of jerks. There's a lot of people that complain about the same thing in uh, WRXs. Alright, so another thing that I do not like about my Super WRX is the paint is kind of. I guess I've heard a lot of people say that the paint is like cheaply made and like mine has like a bunch of rock chips which I'll show you guys just the front end is kind of tore up and I definitely have to get that fixed or at least try to wrap the car all around. So those are the five things that I dislike about my Subaru. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Definitely make sure you smash that subscribe button. Make sure you slap that thumbs up. Spread this out there. Share with your friends. Whatever you got to do. I know you guys see that video on the back. Go ahead, click that. Watch that. Like that. Comment under that. Do your thing.